YouTube, welcome to my channel and at Bella and today I am reviewing Are You There God? It's Me Margaret, the first ever film version of this book. This book was um, first published in the 1970s, the film is set beautifully in the 1970s and yes they do call towels and tampons sanitary napkins. If this is making you squeamish, I'm giving you a squeamish warning warning here. This film is a PG, it is an hour and 51 minutes and the book deals with a lot of different issues. Obviously we're going to go through puberty because we're at the end of elementary slash primary school and that's going to happen. Menstruation, the period, the blah, whatever you want to call it, is coming. This was one of the first books that actually dealt with it and talked about what women and girls go through when they get their first periods. Nobody had done that before. There is, an, there is a religious aspect to this film because Margaret's father is Jewish, her mother was raised in a Christian family but she no longer is because she obviously married Margaret's father who is Jewish. And he's ethnically Jewish, not religiously Jewish, though his mother is both ethnically Jewish and religiously Jewish. It also, because Margaret doesn't have a religion of her own, it also allows Margaret to visit her friends religious um, denominations. We go to a gospel church, we go to a Protestant church in America, we go to a Roman Catholic church in America and we see religion through Margaret who, because her parents have never gone to any of these religious places, she also goes to a Jewish temple as well with her grandmother, because of Margaret's non-religious indoctrination she's able to see things that other religious people don't see. And that is one of the reasons why the book was banned, not because of the stuff about puberty, weirdly enough. So the religious aspect is more educational, but everybody watches it for the stuff about female puberty and we must, we must improve our bust, etc, etc, etc. Judy Bloom, the author, is still alive, she's in her 80s and she runs a banned bookstore. Am oh, I shocked? No, that's what exactly I expected of her to be absolutely only. I love the 1970s setting, I love the, the fact that they've still kept that there because that is when the book was written and produced. It does have a slow pace because it is a book that has been faithfully turned into a faithful movie. This does create some problems with the slow pacing, but if you're a young person watching this for the first time, you get to see ringtone phones, dial phones, ring phones. Yes, I miss them so much. I used to use them, you know, you dial in and you pick it up and then, oh, yes love that and I love the fact that it actually deals with a side thing how indirect the bullying becomes when you become an older child I love this film this film is very 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 good very nostalgic those of us who read the Judy Bloom books growing up will understand this completely five out of five for me really well done this is the first time that Judy Bloom's book has been brought to the screen I'm expecting are you there God it's me Mar Margaret to have an updated remake next possibly in the now. I think that that is doable. I'm also going to be questioning, are they going to be doing forever as a film? Because if they are, we're going to need a better ratings category because mm, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, are you there? It's me, Margaret. It's a PG. It's brilliant. Go and see it with your mother, your aunt, whoever. Trust me, you will love it. I enjoyed it. I found it absolutely, basically, I was watching the book put in pictures. In some cases that is bad but in this case because it's the first time it's been done I'm gonna let that slide. It's about Margaret who moves from New York to suburbia. Why you'd want to do that I don't know. Her parents are mad and her finding herself so it is a bit slow like Margaret does sort of float about on the page because she's not fully there as a person she's discovering these things so she's putting it all together for the first time and that's what you do you don't know everything you've got to piece it together because these experiences you never had. How can you be forewarned or forearmed about an experience you've never had? I love the party. I'm loving the kissing games and the spin the bottle and all of this because young people in primary school and elementary school did do that. That's not a lie. They did copy what the older kids did. It, it all filters down. There's a filtering system. And whatever happens at universities gets somehow filtered down through secondary schools into the bottom end of year six or the end of elementary school in America. That's just how it is. Five out of five for me. Love this movie. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm hoping that you're staying safe wherever you are. Bye.